My name is Dr. Roger Yonka. I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine. I'm currently the director of the Institute of Integral Qi Gong and Tai Chi, uh, which teaches the public to practice mind body practices, Qi Gong, Tai Chi, simple mind body practices, sometimes we call mind body max, uh, maximizing and the healer within practices to awaken the healer within. And then we train teachers. We've trained uh, about 2,000 people who are teachers of these things uh, throughout the United States and Europe and Canada and Mexico. The difference between Qigong and Tai Chi is kind of like looking at the difference between several types of yoga. You could say you have fast yoga, you have yoga lying down, you have yoga standing up. Qigong is very focused on regulating the qi, but we could say function, regulating the autonomic nervous system function. Qigong is intended to harmonize the going and the slowing by uh, having practices that are generally quite slow with very deep breathing. And the net effect is that we maximize functionality of organs and glands. We soothe the autonomic nervous system and basically restore ourselves to harmony and balance so that we have the energy that we need for productivity and creativity and healing. So now, where does Tai Chi fit in? Tai Chi is more complex. It's a walking gesture, so a set of gestures. So instead of sitting or standing or lying down, which is typical for Qigong, we're in traditional Tai Chi, we're up and walking. So now we're doing gestures with the hands at the same time as we're making steps with the feet. Tai Chi is to uh, develop brain plasticity so that they both complement each other. Because as you can imagine, calming down and making medicine within your own body, very, very powerful. And as you can imagine, having the highest level of brain functionality is also a very positive thing. So you put these two together and it's like, a, wow, it's just a superpower. These practices are so simple. When we adjust the posture, deepen the breath, and clear the mind, you don't have to go anywhere. You know, the, the, <laughs> I love that phrase, the only problem with going to the gym is going to the gym. So what about if we could just be in the gym all the time? The barrier to entry to these practices is not how hard the practices are. The barrier to entry is our distraction and our false assumption that we don't have time. Not only do we have time, we can make time. 